Reports surfaced today that Premier Boxing Champions has offered Canelo an eye-popping $55 million guaranteed purse to take on the young lion David Red Flag Benavidez at 168 pounds. This supersedes the previous $35 million offer for Canelo to fight Jaime Mungia instead. With the Benavidez offer now astronomically high, does this finally motivate the pound-for-pound -pound king to take on perhaps his most threatening challenge at super middleweight? All right, let's rewind a bit. Coming off his domination victory over Gennady Golovkin to complete their iconic trilogy last September, Canelo announced he planned to fight an American opponent on Cinco de Mayo weekend this May. The opportunistic premier boxing champions organization and Al Heyman quickly tried maneuvering one of their fighters into the Canelo Cinco de Mayo slot. They first attempted pushing popular young contender Jamie Mungia into the May 5th date with Canelo. Mungia is an undefeated former junior middleweight title holder who Canelo actually used to spar with years ago coming up through the Mexican ranks. Mungia is 43, zero but largely untested against elite foes. He does however possess an exciting TV-friendly style along with a built-in Mexican fan base. From the business side, Canelo versus Mungia seemed like a strong commercial play. Therefore, PBC reportedly offered Canelo $35 million flat to fight Mungia on Cinco de Mayo weekend. A massive payday on paper, but one that Canelo ultimately doesn't seem enthused by against the unproven Mungia. This brings us to the blockbuster new offer that apparently increased by a whopping $20 million more in hopes of finally enticing Canelo into firefight. Rather than dangling Mungia now, PBC has shifted gears by offering Canelo $55 million, guaranteed to tackle dangerous puncher David Benavidez instead on May 5th. As a refresher, Benavidez is a former two-time super middleweight champion who remains undefeated at 28, zero with 24 brutal knockouts. Still just 27 years old, the monstrous hitting Benavidez has long been avoided by the other elite 168-pound fighters. Perfect. Standing at 6 and 2 inches with a hulking frame, Benavidez is a towering pressure fighter who stalks opponents relentlessly behind thudding power shots to the head and body. His blend of size, skill, and crushing force has many experts viewing him as Canelo's biggest threat. For over three years now, Benavidez and his outspoken father have been actively calling for a marquee showdown with Canelo. Through social media and interviews, Team Benavidez has accused Canelo of ducking David repeatedly despite his menacing presence in the division. Up to this point, Canelo has shown little interest in accommodating the Benavidez fight when safer options existed. But with PBC massively overpaying to the tune of $55 million, the stakes have been raised astronomically now. Basically, the message from Heyman and PBC seems clear. We are handing you an offer too lucrative to refuse for a fight the fans desperately demand. No more excuses or stalling. Will you step up to face your toughest challenge? The massive dollar amount attached makes it near impossible for Canelo to avoid addressing this fight now without catching backlash. Which begs the question, does Canelo actually take the deal? Or does he pursue alternate scenarios? To properly analyze what Canelo's motivations and thought process may be, let's quickly break down his situation. The 33-year-old is still firmly in his fighting prime following his masterclass revenge victory over arch-rival GGG last fall. Their all-action trilogy fight reminded fans just how brilliantly skilled and tough Canelo remains compared to his peers. Standing at 5 and 8 inches with a 70-inch reach, Canelo utilizes pristine technique and timing to systematically break opponents down. His combination punching, bodywork, counterpunching, and feinting are all elite. While not the biggest one-punch knockout artist, Canelo's shots take gradual toll leading to late stoppages. Only the most iron-chinned fighters can withstand his pace and pop for 12 full rounds. The Mexican icon became the first ever undisputed super middleweight champion in 2021, when he stopped Caleb Plant to sweep the belts. He has a February 2nd 60 record, 
with that coveted, undisputed status cementing his dominance. Canelo is a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. Between middleweight, super middleweight, and light heavyweight, he has captured world titles in five weight classes while defeating high-level names. At age 33 and fabulously wealthy already, the motivation to put himself at severe risk against the dangerous young Benavidez is understandably less appealing. He simply has far less to gain beating the unproven Benavidez compared to what he stands to lose. Canelo has already discussed moving back up to 175 pounds eventually to pursue a rematch with Dmitry Bivol, the only man to defeat him. So taking an ultra-high risk, low-reward fight now against Benavidez potentially jeopardizes those future legacy plans if Canelo happened to lose again. Now on to the hungry young challenger in hot pursuit himself, David Red Flag Benavidez. Again, at just 26 years with a perfect 28, zero record and 23 KOs, the tantalizing Benavidez represents a clear and obvious threat. Utilizing an absolute engine that never stops, the powerfully built Benavidez applies ruthless pressure from first bell to last. He lets combinations fly with thudding power to both head and body. Defensive skills remain a work in progress, but offensively, very few can compete. What Benavidez may lack in polished technique compared to Canelo, he more than compensates for with size, strength, work rate, heart, and devastating pop. When opponents choose to trade firepower, Benavidez typically prevails. Possessing a sturdy beard himself, Benavidez continues marching forward behind a looping offensive arsenal even after taking clean punishment. This sheer determination and relentless attacking style make him television friendly and a dangerous assignment for top fighters. Simply put, there are no nights off when matching up with Benavidez. You cannot afford to fade or lose focus mentally for even short stretches without potentially paying a hefty price. He will apply pressure and force a brutal fight until the final seconds tick off. Thus far through 28 pro bouts since debuting as a teenager, no fighter has solved the Benavidez puzzle convincingly despite some flawed performances. Canelo would enter a decisive betting favorite, but many experts give the towering pressure fighter a very live underdog shot at scoring the upset, especially if he happens to catch Canelo early with his heavy leather before tiring and swelling up the pound-for-pound -pound king with sustained violence. The ingredients seem in place for high drama. So essentially at this point, the unbeaten Benavidez poses two distinct problems for Canelo stylistically. One, simply from size disparity alone. Benavidez is a huge super middleweight who cuts lots of weight to make 168 pounds. By fight night, expect Benavidez enjoying nearly a 20 pounds weight advantage over Canelo as the far more natural light heavyweight. Two, Benavidez has the offensive firepower and unrelenting pressure style capable of handing Canelo his first KO loss if he times his missiles just right. We have seen Canelo lose rounds and get hit more as he moves up divisions fighting bigger men. Benavidez is by far the biggest and most dangerous threat he'll have faced. With those risky variables in mind, along with Benavidez's modest technical ability, Canelo does have a clear route to competitive victory, however, if inclined to accept this fight. Canelo must rely on his boxing IQ, Briallian's combination punching and counter shots over 12 rounds. Use angles and footwork to target Benavidez's suspect defense while blunting his forward momentum. Don't sit in the danger zone trading carelessly or working at close range along the ropes. If Canelo can fight with patience and discipline behind long straight punches, it's plausible he pulls away for a decision by outlanding and outscoring Benavidez from distance without absorbing too much himself. But there is zero margin for error. Canelo cannot afford to lose focus for even brief moments and allow Benavidez to unleash his nuclear arsenal accurately. This dangerous dividing line makes the Benavidez matchup such compelling drama, despite flaws in his game. He is the ultimate high-wire act for Canelo. Of course, $55 million is not chump change even to someone as wealthy through boxing as Canelo has become. 
That amplifies the intrigue around this offer immensely. Will Canelo gamble his perfect super middleweight record and negotiating leverage against much larger opposition by granting Benavidez his wish? I could absolutely envision Canelo opting to face Jermal Charlo or Demetrius Andrade instead. Quality fighters who may not sell quite as well but pose a lower risk factor the way brutal banger Benavidez does. Business-wise, however, Canelo versus Benavidez is as hot a fight as exists for Cinco de Mayo. Well, even with that type of monetary figure attached, initially I was very skeptical Canelo would accept the high-danger Benavidez fight when safer options existed that could still do solid business. However, the more I think on it, with the crazy sum now being floated around, I actually believe there's a legitimate chance Canelo does take the Benavidez fight strictly due to the dollar amount and challenge attached rather than pursuing Charlo or Andrade instead. That's all we had in store for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for much more boxing content. Till then, see ya!